Here is the new iPad Pro 11, replacing my 10.5 that I've had for about a year and a half or so. This is uh, 1668 by 2388, these crazy resolutions, 11 inch display. Um, got the 12 megapixel cameras on the rear. This one has four gigs of RAM. I believe the terabyte, terabyte version has six gigs of RAM. Uh, but um, you've got the wide color gamut, you got the true tone display, 120 hertz. Um, wow, A12X uh, Bionic chip, seven nanometer. You know what I'm saying? These cameras are gonna be awesome. Let's get this thing going. So this should be a pretty decent experience, man. I, I kept my other iPad for a very long time and I don't plan on getting rid of this one anytime soon. I've already actually played with this um, a bunch of times uh, prior to buying it and I really liked it. One difference here is you get um, you get type C now and it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, Apple should have did this a, a long time ago. This is the charger that people thought was gonna be uh, with the new iPhones. Uh, but no, <laughs> this is a type C charger and uh, let me get my glasses and zoom in here and see what this is working with Let's see here. Let's see if you guys can see it. I can't see that. Can you guys see that? My, my vision is so bad. Ain't nowhere. My glasses ain't gonna help uh, But um, you get a type C cable now type C to type C um, And that's just what it is. So I'm not even gonna use this though because I have a fast brick charger that it'll use uh, the iPad can now um, it can now be linked to um, a monitor because of the type C so that is a huge plus I do have a nice big high-resolution monitor uh, that I will hook this to so take a look around this side this is where the Apple pencil will latch onto with the magnets this is your your volume rocker right there and then on this side, you've got the um, power button right there. Obviously, you got microphones and speakers. On this side, you got another microphone canceling right there. And on this side, you've got your Type C and the two speakers. The magnetic joint is down here, and you can see I got the space gray. Here's that 12 megapixel camera with the the um, True Tone LED. Uh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a powerhouse, man. This now has um, face unlock. So this will be really, really interesting, man. I'm, it's it's so lightweight, man. It's pretty much the same size as my 10.5. It just push the screen out. You saw the video from Apple do the little thing where they choo, you know, push the screen out. It's not the thinnest bezels around the side, but it's just different. They just leveled it all the way out uh, from the other iPad. I can tell you though, this is man. I've not gotten a tablet that's 100% charged. 100% charged. I'm gonna set this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm signed in here. I haven't installed any of my apps yet. Uh, if you get the 64 gig like me, you, of the 64 gigs, you get about 52 available to yourself when you finally get it out, you know what I'm saying? So the uh, the refresh on here, the, the 120 hertz, is, is awesome, man. I mean, this um, the, the device itself, man, let's look around this thing. <clears throat> this camera bump is kind of big, but it's not something that is gonna be a deterrent for me. Let me zoom a little bit here. It's kind of a big camera bump, but it doesn't bother me because I'll be having this more than likely in a case or something like that. I like the industrial design of this thing, man. It really it really feels really good. It's definitely an upgrade. It needed it, man. I don't know if I'm going to grab the Apple Pencil just because they put magnets on here. That, don't, that doesn't mean I have to buy the Apple Pencil. I'm um, pretty curious on how you do a screenshot and things like that. Facial unlock, though, is really fast, just like on an iPhone. Um, you pull down from this side, and I guess I could probably... Um, do a screenshot from here, you know what I'm saying? Like, put it up here. Uh, but you pull down on this side for your notifications. You can see, um, you, you go up and hold, and this is how you get to the, uh, just like an iPhone, man, they pretty much, the camera's up here. I will be testing the cameras in this video, so keep watching, uh, because with the cameras, these are pretty much uh, the cameras that you get on the big dog. You got 4K at 60 frames per second recording, uh, and a smart HDR, this is just gonna be, and look, you record in stereo sound. A lot of people was complaining about that. Um, when you turn on most more compatible, though, you lose that 4K at 60 FPS. That's high efficiency only. So you have to make sure you, it's just like the other ones, man. You got to make sure you keep it there. Uh, but if you drop this over to, um, you know, a, a, a Mac or something like that, it reads it immediately. But 
I mean, I'm really, I'm really feeling it, man. It's looking like it's going to be a, a nice tablet. I don't normally switch out the tablets very often, but I had to get this one, man. I mean, I just thought this was a much needed upgrade. And I just think the, like I was saying before, the industrial design of this thing is actually pretty sweet. The speakers are ridiculously loud, man. They are loud, man. And I'll test that in another video, but I'm really feeling this, man. I think it's uh, a nice fluid tablet like I knew it would be. Uh, hardware is premium. It's so thin. It's, you know, we knew it was going to be thin like this. We knew all about that. Um, you know, it's going to be a good look, man. Let me go in here and go to uh, Control Center. Customize. And let's add screen recording, obviously. I'm trying to put it, I'm trying to remember if I can put it exactly like I had my other, because I didn't want to do a backup. I wanted to just get straight into it. Uh, I don't need magnifier. Text is what I had up there too. Yeah. Let's take a look at the cameras on this thing. I, I was getting ready to press for a home button. I think one thing I like about the um, about the face unlock is it works from any orientation. As you can see, the, the camera's over here. So if I lock this thing and turn it upside down, camera's unlocked. I'm saying, I turn it this way now, power button's down here, camera's unlocked. But if you cover the camera up, it'll it'll let you know. It'll say, hey, you know, you covered up the camera. Like, check this out. I'm, I'm gonna cover up the camera. I'm gonna try to do the camera cover, and you get a little you get a little thing right there. So you uncover it, and then it lets you unlock. So let's go downstairs and let's take a look at the cameras on this bad boy. You get ready to be impressed. All right, guys. So here's the iPad Pro 11. 4K 60fps. Whoo! Why is it that the Apple's cameras on their iPad is better than some phones? How is that possible? <laughs> it's a shame, man. That's pretty bad, son. That's that's bad. Let's check the zoom real quick. Check that out, man. That's a shame that this this iPad has better cameras than a phone out. A lot of phones out. This is beautiful. The full screen display is definitely what Apple should have done a long time ago. But you know how it is, you know how they do. This is just ridiculous, man. Straight up. This is the iPad to get, folks, if you wanted an iPad. Yep, this is the one, it's very expensive, but if you can sell off your other one, definitely grab it. Cameras are ridiculous. All right, now here is uh, the front video. Look at this, man. This is crazy how good this, this footage is coming from my iPad. And, you know, I think it's kind of sad that, again, once again, these cameras are better than several other cameras out there that are on phones. There's definitely no tablets touching this right now. Hopefully the uh, Pixel Slate can bring the thunder. We'll see. So all, Apple also said that I could hook up my uh, Type-C monitor. And as you can see, I have it hooked up. My AirPods and everything hooked up. I got my keyboard going right here. Um, this is a, it's gonna be a win-win. So let's see here. Let's go to smartphone. Uh-oh, misspelling my own website. I haven't used this, um, I haven't used this in a long time. So boom, here we have it, man. I mean, um, this is this is gonna be a nice, nice tablet, man. I, I'm I'm so serious. You can see here I got the I got the tablet plugged in to Type C to my monitor up there. So this is this is just a win win, man. Apple did it right with the Type C finally. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but you know I got my Anchor keyboard hooked up if I want to. This could possibly you know what I'm saying I'm not saying it's gonna be you know a laptop replacement. Cause it's only got one port, but that port is pushing this big old 4K monitor up here. So that says a lot. The A12 chip is something else. So um yeah, I think the I think that this um this this iPad is is definitely a huge upgrade over other previous iPads, man. I mean I, I got a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up, I got it plugged in that type C. You know, I'm sure the battery is gonna be really good. And let's go something real quick. Let's see here. Let's go GSM. I like having um, the the being able to hook up a keyboard real quick. 
I love being able to hook this to a monitor. I'm like, this is really sweet right here. So what do you guys think, man? I like this. I think Apple Apple finally got some things right. You know what I'm saying? These are the specs right here. This thing is going to be a powerhouse. And let's go to one thing before I get out of here. Let's go to YouTube. Uh oh, hey, I haven't typed on this keyboard in a long time, folks. This is my anchor keyboard uh, that I got. It's, um, it's set up for Macs, man. It's, it's definitely one um, that this is that one that lasts you for a, a year on a charge. So let's go videos. I wonder how, where this I'm kind of curious if it's, the sound's going to come out of the laptop or not. Let's just go to this latest video right here. See where the sound is going to come from. Because the monitor doesn't have speakers. So this will let me know if I need to hook up a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a Bluetooth speaker because sound doesn't come out of that monitor. That monitor doesn't have any any speakers or anything. So just test it. But here it is, man. The iPad Pro 11. Wow. Wow. I'm loving. It. I'm gonna get all my apps installed and everything, and uh, this is gonna be a nice. This is gonna be a nice little hit for me right here, man. Can it replace my MacBook Pro? I don't know. Uh, we'll see about that. But this is uh, the unboxing and first impressions of the 11-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm actually gonna edit this entire video on this MacBook Pro or, or this uh, this iPad Pro. So hope you guys enjoy, man. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.